to today's Community Family Challenge. I'm Chef Debbie and I work at the college. I've been asked to set you a food challenge for you and your family to have some fun with. So we are going to attempt to build a tower using just pasta and marshmallows. Now your challenge is to create your tower as high as you can. Your tower needs to be able to stand on its own have one week to complete this challenge and then post your photo online along with a card by the side showing Southend Adult Community College Pasta and Marshmallow Tower Challenge. To be able to take part all you need to do is register with the college. Now all details will be provided along with this video. Judging takes place after the closing date and the winner will be notified online and will receive a certificate in the post. So, let's do this. Okay, so where do you start? All right, well, first of all, obviously you need to get yourself some pasta and some marshmallows. Now, I've got some lovely penne pasta here. This is one with a little hole in. I've got an assortment of marshmallows. You don't have to have the really bright colourful ones, you can go with your traditional white and pink ones. I've got some spaghetti and I've also got some lasagna sheets, okay. You're also going to need a nice firm board to build your tower on. I have got a knife in case you wanted to sort of cut up any of your marshmallows. And most important for this challenge, because you want to know how tall it is, you're going to need a tape measure. So just to give you a few tips, now pasta, the spaghetti on its own is quite flimsy, all right? So you might not want to just use one strand. So you might be worth maybe having two or three or, or four strands together. Now, what I have used in the past when I've done this challenge before is that I've used penne pasta and I've actually threaded the spaghetti through the penne pasta which firms it up and then I've just got another piece of penne pasta and oh God, this is a little bit fiddly in you go that's it like so and that sort of gives you a nice sturdy strut to your tower okay so you can you can build your struts like that or if you didn't want to go that way what you could do is get some lasagna sheets these are quite good these are handy now you could either them like you would perhaps maybe a deck of cards whoa <laughs> or what you could do is if you wanted this have one at the bottom and maybe let's bring in the marshmallows and perhaps you might want to put a couple of marshmallows there and we'll rest one on so it's a little bit wobbly so you might want to think about that as well so you might want to put on maybe another couple of marshmallows and add another one whoa. okay all right so, just some ideas for your um, for your tower. Now, one other thing that you can do, because you're only allowed to use pasta and marshmallows, is that if you want to use your marshmallows as a bit of a glue, you can do it. What you can do is just melt these in the microwave, okay? Just for a couple of seconds, so they all go gooey, and then you can use that as a bit of a glue to help stick your design together. So, the most important thing at the end, when you've built your tower, what you're going to need is your tape measure. And the idea is to say, for example, I've got my tower there, and I'm gonna get the tape measure, and I've got a nice metal one, because that's nice and sturdy. You're gonna hold the tape measure against your tower, whoops, like so, and then we can see just how high it is. And don't forget, when you take your photo, to make sure that you put your card in. Okay, so have fun, and I look forward to seeing your towers soon. Take care, bye.